morning, Miguel. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good, how are you? What are you doing here on a Sunday? Working. Working? What's up, girl? What's up? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Are you uh, in town from college? I am. How was uh, this first semester? It was really good. I'm having a good time. First semester or are you... Oh, no, I'm a junior. Oh, seasoned vet. <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> Acting uh, classes going great? Oh, yeah, great? they're going well. There you go. Doing on some theater. On your way to showbiz. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we are back at the restaurant. It's Sunday, uh, one of the popular days of the week. We have our European brunch that we feature. I remember when I launched this brunch a few years ago, like, how am I gonna get people to eat breakfast at a Greek restaurant? So we did this whole European brunch, uh, bougie brunch, and uh, deep fried cream brulee French toast. Uh, let me just show you some of the stuff that, uh, that we serve for brunch at my restaurant. Here's our Mediterranean pico, diced onion, and sliced green onions, and our, uh, our eggs that we cracked for order. Good man. Good. Yeah, it does. The crazy thing is, brunch does not start till 10, but we are here at 6:30 in the morning already, uh, prepping everything from our uh, crunchy potatoes to. I mean, it's a lot. There's a lot to prep in a full-service kitchen, and our our menu is quite extravagant. It's certainly not the easy road to go. We are not making just chicken tenders like some other restaurants. Like it's full blown, everything that'd be perfect, fresh, and ready. I think that's what sets us apart from uh, the other restaurants is the pride that we take in our ingredients and our recipes. Penelope, how's brunch so far? It's good, very busy. What do you got over here, some fresh fruit? Give me a, a rundown of brunch so far. We had to we had to get rid of we had to let our dishwasher go, and so he's not here today. Then we had to have uh, our uh, Hayden, uh, who is our busser, who's a really great guy. He stepped in and he's doing great right now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, no, nothing you can't handle though, right? No, absolutely not. I uh, we, we definitely got this super easy. But what else? She can also do dishes. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of editing lately in the attic of my restaurant, but going daily is going to require me to be more nimble and utilize every second of the day. Long story short, with so much on my plate, trying to balance filmmaking, vlogging, and, and restaurant touring, I'm going to have to utilize every second of every day, and this is just not a sustainable model for the amount of volume that we're looking to uh, to put out in uh, 2021. Okay, Sunday brunch is a success. We're uh, filling up quite nicely, but I did promise Holly and the girls I would get back home and help them decorate the Christmas tree and spend a little bit of time before Sophia goes back to school tomorrow. So let's go check out the fam. Baby. Honey. Yes. What was your opinion of yesterday's vlog? I liked it. I just thought that maybe the girls could have been included a little bit more. And I don't know. Look how pretty. Home Goods is my favorite store uh, that we go to. I'm always getting stuck in the kitchen aisle since I was like 20 years old. We're all clear. Home goods. That's pretty cool. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. We're gonna end the vlog here. Just wanna give a shout out uh, to uh, the entire restaurant, the, the fact that I just like came downstairs and just everything was humming right along. 
uh, the culinary team, uh, Connor, manager on duty today, uh, service team, everybody was just rocking. And I think that's just an awesome uh, thing to, to witness, just seeing a machine uh, running itself very efficiently. We're gonna go figure out this whole Christmas tree situation. I'll see you guys tomorrow.